Good day everyone, this is Crypto Portfolio Project and my name is Dan. Today we will look into the ICO of ZR Coin project, which is going to have an ICO in just a couple of days. As you can see, this is the first project I review outside of Ethereum blockchain. The reason is simple. You are the ones who voted for this project in my Telegram channel. If you want to know how many votes other projects have accumulated, click the Telegram link under the video. The team consists of experienced chemists, economists and blockchain enthusiasts. If you want to know more, I recommend you visiting the ZR Coin site, where you can find more information on all the members of the team. By the way, the keys to the wallets are going to be spread among known and respected personalities. I advise you to check them too if you want to invest. So, as you may already know, the ZR coin will represent something physical. That's completely different from other projects, which are creating blockchain-based online ecosystems. ZR coin aims to use ICO funds to build an industrial plant using their breakthrough technology. This new technology will use glass factories waste in order to produce zirconium dioxide with competitive characteristics. The time spent between the ICO and the first return on investment from the plant is expected to be 8 months. The team has already done research on the industrial park where it wants to build a factory and made preliminary agreement with the administration of the region, so in case of the successful ICO, the time spent on bureaucracy will be minimum. So, ZR coin is going to be tradable, it is going to finance the construction of the technological plant with minimum costs, and if you want, uh, you can exchange your token for 1 kilo of zirconium dioxide. If you want to know more, let's continue. As you know, the ICO is going to finance the construction of the plant inside Russia. Due to this fact, the majority of buyers are expected to be in Russian Federation. So I checked how important zirconium is for Russian producers, and it seems to be very important in reality. More than 90% of zirconium is imported from other countries, and competitive local producer of this material is essential for Russian companies. Annual demand in Russia, according to the White Paper, is 150,000 tons of zirconium dioxide. More than 90% is imported from other countries. Russians seem to lack the local cheap producers of this material, and the appearance of the new player is very important for this market. By the way, the supplier of machinery to ZR coin plant is going to be Ural Omega. The team has already contacted this company and made preliminary calculations of the machinery's costs. You can check this supplier site. Seems legit. Another interesting data is the estimated production and demand of the ZR coin products. The projected demand is estimated to be 1000 tons monthly. The estimation was made during the survey of zirconium dioxide users in Russia and abroad by the team members. Check white paper for details. ZR coin will be able to start producing about 400 tons monthly. They say this will be enough to start returning investments back at 400,000 USD per month. Demand seems to exceed the supply, but Russian companies will be keen to increase the demand if the product turns out to be competitive. ZR coin expects to start exports to other countries if everything goes according to plan. The CEO of the project told that German producers checked the sample version of zirconium dioxide and they were interested in this zircoin product. I thought that the company structure is of great interest, so I made a little explanation of the three companies which were created to legally comply with the laws. There are Russian, Cyprus and English companies. The English company is the one which issues tokens and collects money. Then it sends money to the Cyprus entity. The Cyprus company takes the money from the English company and lends the funds to the Russian one. 
Then the Russian company receives funds and uses the money to actually build the factory and sell the product. After that, the Russian entity returns money with interest to Cyprus and from Cyprus the money is returned to English counterpart with interest. The English company sends money with return to investors of ZR coin. This complex structure is needed in order to stay compliant with international and Russian laws. ZR coin unfortunately doesn't have a lot of usage opportunities. Basically, it's a coin that finances the construction of the industrial plant, but you can sell it or buy it on the exchange if the ICO is a success. The main and only user of the coin is the investor, who can operate with the token on different exchanges. Other thing is to simple holding of the token. You hold and wait until the plant is ready and the investment starts to return with profit. Also, it is very important to understand that the Arcoin team needs at least 3.5 million USD, which is minimum for the plant construction. In that case, 2.5 million tokens will be distributed among investors. The maximum sum will be 7 million dollars. With this sum of money, the founders will be able to buy more machinery and maybe increase the output and revenue of the industrial plant. Let's sum up. Eight months after the ICO, the project is expected to generate profit and start to return money back to investors. Basically, ZR coin is a financial instrument option, which you can buy at a discount with the hope to sell it for double its price later to the ZR coin team. Each month, the buyback price will grow at a 5.5% rate. Maximum return on one coin is going to be 100%, which is double of the coin's ICO price. Coin will be tradable on exchanges. At the moment, I know that the first of all the trading is going to happen on Waves decentralized exchange. Maybe later there will be other exchanges. During the ICO campaign, you will be able to retrieve your money if you find anything suspicious about the project. What are the advantages of ZR coin? It is the first ICO to collect money on something real, physical, that can be sold in case of a failure and some money can be returned to the investors. The team is experienced in this sphere. So I hope that knowledge, connections and the, this experience will lead to the success of this project. Research and development phase is complete. All the machinery costs, prices for raw materials and plant site are accounted for. It is very important to calculate the possible expenditures. ZR Coin has conducted the survey to understand possible demand and already received commercial offers. That means that factory can sell from the day one of the production. What about the disadvantages? The time it takes until the first batch is out. The founders say they will need about six to eight months. There are different risks, political and economic, which are associated with doing business in Russia. So do not forget about that, please. Also, as you know, the tokens are issued on Waves blockchain, so be prepared for risks associated with Waves. Thank you very much for listening to my video review of ZR coin. If you want to know more about my opinions on different blockchain based products, you can subscribe to my channel in Telegram or Facebook. Bye, until the next time.